The lights are warm. Paintings from George Orwell's vision of 1984 come into view. An all-seeing eye watches a man as he tries to escape. A video camera looks down on attendees with the word Facebook written on it. A Rubik's Cube displayed on a stand gradually grows as it gets higher. There are small figures of people standing at the bottom corners. It's all part of a salute to George Orwell's novel, 1984. The recurrent theme, Big Brother is watching, watching, watching. Uh, tell us about that one. Okay, my other pen is called The Unhuman World. It's a world where what happens with the human beings? If you are being watched by Big Brother on and on and on, uh, you can think about this time. What happened to us? You start to become less and less human. The novel projects the future as it is today, where everything we do is controlled. Projected in 1949 what the future is going to be about and how we're going to be really affected by technology, by newspapers, by uh, a lot of, of uh, marketing in terms of how we live our lives. Ignorance is bliss is one of the paintings displayed on the wall, but Dan Walden says knowledge is key. I agree with the mantra that knowledge is power, so that's what we do here at City College is we, we educate and we bring knowledge to students so that they can make decisions and not just be doing what they're told but necessarily able to think for themselves and, and question and critique, have a good critical mind. The world is being enslaved off the backs of everybody else, the small people, meaning us, you know what I mean? And then I have this veil here to, let it, to uh, show that it's just one big show, really, you know what I mean? And, and reference also with uh, Thomas Rawls, the, the philosopher, the veil of ignorance, you know what I mean? This time it's all open for us to see what's really going on. And then I, I close it up with the, what I try to make like a TV screen, like in the book, that like everybody has a TV, inside, inside their house, it's always on, I got a power light, link light, and then with the webcam on top to show that we're always being watched all the time. More than two decades have elapsed since Orwell's predictions, but his ideas still resonate. In my work, this one has a name like One Generation, and I think about why one generation destroyed another generation instead of live together and use the experience of one generation. And when, when one generation tried to destroy another, we have a, like, a lot of pain like this. The 1984 exhibit will run in the Da Vinci Gallery from November 12th through December 13th. Reporting for Collegian Wired, I'm Diana Nakayenga.